We're live. Okay, I'm getting a lot of messages up on my screen. Okay, so we, um, the Board of Education is reconvening back into open session. We have um, received um, the academic recommendation um, and approved for Dr. Houlihan. We have received a transportation update and we have received um, the um, COVID-19 update from Mr. McCraw and, um, and informate a new, um, a new recommendation from Dennis Joyner. So board, um, if you have any questions, I'm just gonna open the floor for any questions or comments. If you want to um, ask staff a question, um, the floor is open. Chair, this is Todd. I would like to ask that um, the health department is at our next school board meeting. And that is on September 7th. Uh, yes, sir. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion we adjourn. Madam Chair, is this the opportunity to, to make motions? Um, the floor is open. Oh, okay. I'd like to make a motion that from the information that we've received from uh, Mr. McGraw, Nurse Nelson, and the health department, that we uh, take heed to their recommendation starting uh, the beginning of the school year where all of our students are um, in masks. I'll second. Okay, so the floor is open for any comments or questions um, before we call the vote. So what's the deadline? For, I mean, so it's, we start the year, there's no end, there's no end in it or what? A motion would be from the recommend from McGraw, Mr. McGraw and the health department that we allow them to be our guides in this process. So as he speaks with them weekly uh, and meets with uh, whomever from the health department that they will give us the guidance that we need uh, going into the school year, continuing the school year. And uh, we will let them, uh, as mentioned, give us the instruction that we need so that we can prayerfully and eventually transition out of this season that we are in as a county with this pandemic. Are there any other questions? Did the um, county health director, when we voted to go mask optional, did the county ever make a recommendation that that was acceptable, that that was advisable? Did they ever recommend? Miss Merrill, I didn't hear his question totally. I didn't either. Um, Gary, could you ask that question again? No one heard it. Did the health department ever make a recommendation when we made a uh, when we did the vote to go mask optional? What was the recommendation of the health department at the time? Um, Mr. Sides, he had not given a recommendation at that time other than pointing us to the toolkit uh, and to the recommendations in the toolkit. Mr. McGraw, did you have any kind of, um, any kind of direction or anything leading up to this most recent conversation that perhaps the trend was shifting with the health department where they were gonna recommend or require, or I'm sorry, recommend? Um, I, di I didn't have anything. Now, Monday, uh, I did receive an email from Mr. Joyner, and he did let me know that, you know, he was going from advising to it was a recommendation to follow the guidance in the toolkit. Then on Tuesday, I clarified to make sure that he meant 
the entire tire tool toolkit plus the uh, face covering guidance. So Monday I received the email, Tuesday I clarified, and then, then I passed that on to the board at that point. So a clarification from the chair, if this motion, as I understand it, unless the health department or the uh, state or the toolkit changes and says you can uh, no longer required to mask, then we are under mask mandated. Even if they may continue to uh, just recommend until they, uh, this motion would be in effect basically until they say you have, we recommend you go without masks. I'm not sure I can answer that. Um, I think Mr. Kirkpatrick and um, Mr. Morial would have to answer that. Could you ask the question again, Mr. Sides? How long does this stay in effect? So when does this expire? When the health department basically comes forward and says, you don't have to wear masks anymore, or the toolkit says masks are no longer required, or the uh, NCDHSS. Now keep in mind the current the current um, is yeah. not it's not required currently. It's it's recommended. There is no requirement. Yeah, Mr. Kirkpatrick, if you, if you would recommend if you would allow me to make a recommended amendment to the motion, um, I would recommend that we begin the school year with face mask required. We have we still leave to the local discretion of the school board on the timing of when that decision can be reversed and go back to mask optional. We would continue to be consulted by Mr. McGraw, who's in constant communication with the health department. And we would look at neighboring counties, neighboring states, other areas as well, and see how they're impacted with the beginning of the school year if they are mask optional. So we would use all those factors to come back and reconvene uh, when, you, you know, it could revisit this. I'm in agreement. <clears throat> I would like to offer a substitute uh, amendment as well, that we start the year as we uh, currently have voted and revisit this at the next board meeting if the metrics change significantly that, um, the board feels that it requires a change to mask mandate. I'll offer that amendment as well. So, Mr. Saez, correct me if I'm wrong. That is the opposite of the motion and the second that's on the floor. So, I think we need to vote on the one that is currently on the floor, and then um, you could um, make your motion. Is that okay? That's fine. Can I? Can I ask a question first? Absolutely. Would anybody be agreeable to amending the motion to say that we start off the school year with mass and then we had readdress it when we have Mr. Joyner come to our September 7th board meeting and then maybe we have that opportunity to figure out what we're looking at in terms of at least we're starting off if the summer is any indication instead of the opposite. I would be in agreement with that. So it gives, a, it gives us a definitive date to look back and revisit while still all those other factors that I mentioned are, are being considered. Uh, Mr. Kirkpatrick, you made the motion. I'll, I'll leave it up to you whether you accept that. So you're saying when school starts back on Monday, children have on mask, and then when we have our September meeting, with the, is the, which is the seventh? So it'd be basically two weeks plus, I guess, because that's a Tuesday. Could say and three we visit, weeks. And we then get a presentation from the health department where we can get local stats, continue to look at trend, make an educated, further educated decision at that point as to whether we continue or whether we make them optional. Well, and if the trend for Union County is starting to go down, that would give us an extra buffer just for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And then at least there's an end date insight. Mr. Patrick, it's your motion, so you have to accept. I think it's pretty much the same as what I, I think I said 
going back to um, the advice from Mr. McGraw, I don't know why I want to say McGraw, Mr. McGraw and the health department being our guide in this. So starting out with masks and then allowing them to give us instruction on what we need to do, our health specialists, um, experts. So that's pretty much the same, I think, right? Except for this September 7th meeting being the next time we would revisit this. Okay. Would, would you uh, accept a slight clarification that we will require a revote on September 7th, whether to rather than just revisit, which is kind of nebulous, uh, which we would indeed vote again on September 7th at that meeting, whether to maintain a mask mandate or revert back to mask optional. So it would require basically based on the, the data that comes in and any information from the health department, that interview, it would require a revote in order to maintain mask mandate or we, um, in order to keep that in effect. So in other words, it puts a time limit rather than just saying we can't on the seventh or maybe not, it would require us to vote on September 7th to maintain the mask mandate. Do, do we think that two weeks is gonna give us enough time to really give up? Mr. McGraw, could I, if I may, do you think two weeks is enough time? I don't think that's enough time to really monitor. Well, then, then we would have a revote, and the revote would be to maintain mask mandate. Hmm. If the data is inconclusive, I'm just saying the motion is that we'll revisit it on the seventh. I'm saying no, we're going to vote again on the seventh. I, I, I wouldn't make that motion. I think it's too early to vote that early. Anybody can make a motion at any time. So we have a motion and a second on the floor. If there are no other questions, I, I am going to um, go. Uh, um, Dr. Houlihan, you have. I'm something? sorry. I'm That's sorry. Okay. Can I get a point of clarification on the motion, please? Um, the, I've, I've only heard students. I, I want to be clear. Is this uh, student, staff, visitors? I, I just want some clarity on um, if this passes. Is this anyone that's in the building or is this just uh, pertaining to students, please? Thank you. The motion that I'm recommending is when school starts back, um, or whenever the school, when the school year starts back, that everyone entering in the building needs to wear a mask as students, as teachers, um, that's even parents that come in. Uh, and from the guidance of our um, staff and our health specialists, then we will allow them to give us insight on when we can transition out of the mask if that's an opportunity. So all in, individuals who are in the building. Thank you. It's irregardless if they've been vaccinated or had uh, tested positive within the last three months. Is that correct? Isn't, isn't that what, the, isn't that the recommendation from my health department, Mr. McGraw, that all persons have on a mask, vaccinated or not? Yes, sir, that is correct. Everybody in the school building uh, would wear a mask. That would be staff, students, teachers, and visitors inside a school building uh, would, would be required to wear a mask. Okay, so um, I'm going, going to start with District 1 and just go in order like I've done in the past. All, all those in favor, um, District 1, what is your vote? John Kirkpatrick. Four. So, okay, Matt Helms in District 2, do you mm -hmm. um, yay or nay? nay? Huh? Nay. 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 Gary Sods, District Sorry. 3. Sides votes no. Melissa Merrill in District 4 votes no. Joe Morial in District 5. Science votes yes. Kathy Hintel in District 6. 
Uh, we need your mic turned on. <laughs> Sorry, no. Todd Price at large. No. Jimmy Benchin at large. No. Sarah May at large. No. So the no's have it. Um, the motion does not pass. So seven to two. Are there any other questions, comments? Um, the floor is open. Madam Chair, I'll make a motion we adjourn. Second. Okay, um, all those in favor say aye. 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 The aye. meeting is adjourned.